yes good day everyone wow you all know my name i hope you are familiar with my name now so we have done the laws of eight business today we are going to consider the application of indices the application of the law of indices so we'll now be solving question one after the other but before we go further don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel Akim Ola, and also to log on, to log in to my Facebook account, also at Akim Ola. Let's look at the question on the board. If we look at this question very well, you will notice that this question we have on the board now, for us to solve it, we are going to consider more than one law of indices. There is a times there, there is a multiplication sign here. So we are going to consider the addition law. And at the same time, we have division line here. So we are also going to consider the subtraction law or rule. Now, let's look at the first one. If we look at the first one, we have 5 raised to power x times 25 raised to power x minus 1. Everything divided by 125 raised to power of x plus 1. For us to solve it, you will notice that we have three terms here. The first term is already simplified. If you look at the second term, you have 25 raised to the power of x minus 1. Of course, we can still simplify this 25 in terms of 5. And if you look at this third one here, we have 125, which can also be simplified in terms of this uh, 5 that is here. How many 5 can we get from 25? So the equation, the question now will now become, 5 raised to the power x times 25 is 5 raised to the power 2. Everything to the power of x minus 1. Then all over 5 to the power of 3 for the 125. Everything you have x plus 1. According to the law of indices, the powers will multiply each other. When you have both base and power raised to an external power, you are going to multiply the power by the external power. That means we are going to have 5 to the power of x times 5 into 2x minus 1. Everything to the power of 5, 3 into x minus 1. x plus 1. So from here, we can open the bracket. If we open the bracket there, we are going to have 5 raised to the power x times 5, 2x minus 2, everything as in 2 times x will give us 2x, y 2 times 1 will give us 2. Then we can now have 5, 3x plus 3, 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 1 is 3. So from here, I can reframe the question as 5 to the power of x times 5, to the power of 2x minus 2 divided by 5 to the power of 3x plus 3. So from here, the bases are the same all true. So I'm going to take one of the base out. I have my base. Then I will now consider the powers now. We are half times. That means I'm going to have division, uh, multiplication sign. Uh, we are half multiplication sign. I am going to have addition sign. And we have division sign. I will change it to minus sign. That means I'm going to have x plus 2x minus 2 minus. You have to be careful in mathematics. Anywhere you have a negative sign, you have to be very, very careful of what we come out after the negative sign. I have a negative sign here now. So whatever I'm going to have here now must be in a bracket. That means I'm going to have 3x plus 3. Then I can now op open the bracket and simplify the powers. So if I should do that, I'm going to have 5x plus 2x, as in what I have here, minus 2. Open the bracket here, you have minus 3x minus 3. Minus times 3x is 3x. Minus times plus minus. The minus times 3, you have your thing there. So I can now collect like terms and the power. So if you collect like terms there, you're going to have 5 raised to the power of x plus 2x minus 3x minus 2 minus 3. So that 
that will now give us 5 raised to power. What is x plus 2x? Of course, that will give us 3x. Minus 3x, that will give us 0x. So the x is totally out of the equation now. We are now left, what is minus 2? Minus 3. Minus 2 minus 3 will give us minus 5. So our answer now will now be 5 raised to the power minus 5, which is also equal to 1 all over 5 raised to the power 5. Of course, you can use your calculator to simplify this further. But I'm going to stop here. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Akim Ola. And you can also log into my Facebook account, Akim Ola, to have access to some of the video that I have done in mathematics. I'm very sure you have enjoyed yourself. We are going to continue from here next time. Thank you.